Paul Therott, Mary Jo Foley. We're talking Windows and Windows Holographic, which is going to be part of the creator's update, right? But it's a user interface. Am I am I on the right track there? What to even how to even describe this easily? It's a shell, yeah. right? It's a um, shell. It's yeah. a shell. Okay. And that and Microsoft is making the Windows holographic environment available to companies that want to build virtual reality headsets. So it's the same holographic shell that is in HoloLens. Um, and now it's going to be the shell that um, PC vendors like Acer and I think, I forget who the list is, Acer, Asus, Lenovo, uh, a whole bunch of them have said they're going to build holographic headsets that tether to PCs and make use of this holographic shell. So that's what Windows holographic is. Um, today at Game Developers Conference, Microsoft said we're going to start shipping software developer kits for Windows Holographic this month, meaning March. Does it require HoloLens? Do you have to have a HoloLens no. developed? No. No. And the kits, it looks like to me, based on the way this blog post was written, are um, based, are, all the kits are going to include an Acer virtual reality headset as oh, part of the dev kit. So this is what they announced, what was that, a build or something, that there were going to be these new third-party VR right. headsets. Okay. Right, right. So okay. the one so you can they do it in showed, VR. yeah, the yeah. one they showed today is called Acer Windows Mixed Reality Development Edition headset. Rolls right off the tongue. Um, it's this is so people who went to the Microsoft presentation at GDC today got this golden ticket, and if you got the golden <laughs> ticket, it means you're going to be the first ones to get Ooh, this. How much? Um, does it give a price? I don't think it's it gotta, does. If you're getting it uh, hardware, it's got to cost. I'm sure you're going to have to pay for it, but I don't think. They gave us a price. Right. Um, no, not that you I. You have to ask. You can't. But you don't. Exactly. Yep, you don't need it, <laughs> sir. This is a yeah. Lamborghini dealership. <laughs> Perhaps you <laughs> want to go to the V Dub <laughs> dealership down the road. Yeah, so here's, here's you how they worded it. They said, as we begin the phased rollout this month of the developer kits, the kits will include the Acer headset along with documentation and access to Windows 10 Insider Preview builds, and the SDK. So that's what you get. But it doesn't say, and you have to pay, blah. It doesn't say that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Paul, I, wait a minute, wait a minute. Paul is speechless. This is, I but make him a note of that right now. <laughs> Paul has nothing to say. Now, see, well, there's a picture. A <laughs> there's a picture on the blog post. <laughs> All right, let me look at it. Let me, let me pull it up. Okay. It looks like, <sighs> what do you call those things we had as kids? Viewfinders? Remember yeah, Viewmaster, those? Viewmaster. Viewmasters. Well, yeah, I mean, it looks like a regular headset. It's not. Yeah, it does. It does. It just kind of reminded yeah. me of that when I saw the picture. It's actually kind of <laughs> spiffy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, it's nice. Now, okay, okay, I get it here because I see a camera over the right side there. So that's what makes this mixed reality. Actually, there's two cameras, it looks like. Ooh, they look like little eyes. People will think you're a bug. So this means uh, it is like HoloLens. It's not transparent. But you could the camera would give you a view of the world, right? Is that right? Yeah, uh, I believe so. So I, I mean, if they're calling the it mixed know, reality, that must be right. Yeah. So one of the fundamental advan uh, advances, I guess, in this platform and these devices is that unlike traditional VR solutions like HTC Vive that need something out in the room to help you understand the space. Right. Like cameras or whatever. Right. Uh, this has this built in. Oh, right? oh. So it, this it, isn't a view. You're. you're I, it's, I, I'm not. I'm not clear. Like I. Yeah. I don't see any reason it couldn't do both. I mean, obviously the Hololens is providing you with a view you know, through the glass outside even, as possible. Even with a uh, card, Google Cardboard and Samsung Gear VR, they can turn on the camera in the phone and impose superimpose. Mm. You yeah. can see what's ahead of you. Yeah. So I'm, that's not a difficult. The difficulty of this is is extracting items in the space and interacting with those items in real time. That's the really hard, computationally hard thing. I noticed they're bundling this with a with a Asus Predator gaming machine. <laughs> yeah, yep. Not a, also not free, <laughs> by the way. Yep. Really, you get that too? <laughs> no, no, no. That's got to be. I think that's the nine thousand dollar laptop. <laughs> yeah, it might be. <laughs> this air gaming. It's a gaming. It's a Republic of Gaming ROG, I think. But um, so you need something like that to drive this, no doubt. Well, not necessarily. Uh, one of the points of this platform is that there'll be low-end devices. Meaning, I think ah. was the base price two ninety nine or one ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. 
I can't remember. Really but cheap. Do they um, talk about the, what the PC hardware though is? You know. That's, yeah, and and they'll be you'll be able to run it to some capacity on fairly low end hardware as well. Obviously, you have a better experience on on high end hardware, but it's not meant to be like uh, Oculus Rift or whatever, where it requires a really hefty computer. The mm -hmm. thing that depresses me in this article that you wrote. <laughs> I get that a lot. Please continue. <laughs> Eeyore. <laughs> yeah. Is that they said that mixed reality will be available for Project Scorpio next year. Mm. Not, not and I, this Okay, year. I, I wanted to have a discussion around that because they were really measly with the word, weasley with the words. Um, yeah. Another one. Measly. One of the bit. Well, we, we've known since they announced Project Scorpio last summer that VR, or I think they were calling it VR at the time would be part of the platform. That doesn't mean it's going to ship with it, right? In other well, words, it's not going to it doesn't mean it comes it, with a headset. It could it, ship with VR but not mixed reality. That's what right. I that's I would I'm guess. Getting. Yeah. 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 Or, or I mean, so but but what does it mean? Like in other words, there, there's so many details we don't know. Um, does it ship with some VR compatible hardware or is it just VR compatible? And if it's VR compatible, what does that mean? Like what what's mm -hmm. the thing that works with it? You, you, I I always thought that uh, well, as soon as Microsoft announced they were doing this partnering thing, I thought, okay, yeah, clearly this is the intent. It's a third these party devices, device. Yeah, but it will be these devices specifically. These things will work with Windows 10 computers, and they will work with Xbox consoles, not just Scorpio, but also Xbox One based. And that would make sense. Yeah, uh, you got to keep the sense. price of the console down. Microsoft learned that last right. time. You can't. That's a good point. Every yeah. hundred <laughs> bucks makes makes you know a, a couple okay. of million. Difference in well, sales. But, okay, but let's let's like kind of step through this a little bit because if this is all true, and I think we all agree this is makes sense and is true probably, mm -hmm. then why would you come out with VR hardware for Scorpio in the summer of 2017 only to have it be replaced by MR hardware in 2018? I actually think that the intent here is that this is the solution for Scorpio. It won't be compatible in 2017. The capabilities and you know the hardware is has enough to run it, but they will add this through a software update to Scorpio in 2018. In other words, that Scorpio will ship without without VR or MR capabilities. Mm. That's how I take this. Mm. It's not- Though the word, the word in the sentence that's the trick word is the word content. Our plan is to bring mixed reality content to the Xbox One family of devices, including Scorpio in 2018. So what if you actually can yep. use the headset, you know, the mixed reality headsets to develop Maybe oh. or like somehow use them. Do we but know how much the uh, that Acer headset or these? You said it was low cost, right? A couple hundred bucks. Yeah. I would guess that this thing is three hundred dollars. Okay, so I bet it's somewhere in there. Here's your. Here's what's going on. Let me let me explain this to you guys. You go, okay, go ahead. Your competition <laughs> right now is PlayStation VR, mm. right? The PS4 works with with VR, and and I don't know what sales are of the VR headsets, but they're a couple hundred bucks for PlayStation. I'm, I would be shocked if Microsoft released a next generation console this year, the Scorpio, without at least VR capability. They need to at least mm. offer something on a par with what PlayStation is offering. And it could, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it, pure VR, if they do these headsets, these Acer headsets. Okay. And, okay. and they're VR only. Okay. With no, some that, promise that, that there may yep, be a yep. software update in the following year. Yes. Or games you, available. A, an MR game is a hard thing to do. I mean, Leo, it's important sense? for me to, for, to that you understand that what you just did is exactly what Twitter never does, which is to <laughs> introduce logic and convince me of your correctness. <laughs> so <laughs> what you just said is even more likely than what I said. And I think you're right. Because they've got to be painfully yes. aware of how Sony yes. is outselling them, which yep. means and, they and can't get a price too high. Yes. No, you're right. That's right. That PlayStation makes VR no. is has sold. I, I'm told more almost a million units. So that's yep. not a market Microsoft's going to ignore. Mm. Well, or are they? <laughs> so I, I, I wrote they a little be editorial about that topic last weekend, and let me let me bring it up just so I can get the exact numbers on this one because it's 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 kind of amusing. Mm. Um, yeah, Sony told some publication that they sold almost a million of these of these things, and the guy from the New York Times. Compared it to the iPhone. And oh they boy. said, you know, <laughs> in their first three months of the market in 2007, Apple sold 1.4 million iPhones, a feat now considered among the most successful technology products of all time. Guys, 
excuse me, maybe you don't remember this because you don't cover Microsoft or even pretend they exist, but Microsoft sold <laughs> 8 million units of the Kinect in the first 60 days, mm -hmm. eight, 8 million. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft, I, I, you, you're right, Leo, that they are looking at this and they, they can't come out lame. Like if they come out with, uh, we'll support it eventually. I, that's going to kill it, even though I don't feel that this market is huge. I, I They have to support VR right away. I think you are absolutely correct. But it's just amusing to me that this one million you know, figure is held up as some unbelievable success story. You got to remember that the the Kinect, when it came out, which, by the way, the Kinect we now know to be a turd, was the fastest selling consumer electronics device in history, according to the Guinness Book of World's Records. Wow. Eight million units. In I forgot two that. Two months. It's yeah. Now we yep. just kind of see Connect as uh, it was not not that great. Right. Didn't really work out, right? Well, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. In other words, like so, Sony sold a million of those things, right? The final yeah. tally on those sales could be 1.2 million units forever because the number of people that want to do VR in the PlayStation platform have already bought the <laughs> like they're done. Mm -hmm. Like I, that might be the it may by the way it may go on to sell 20 million. No, units. but so that saying, actually would be my guess. I think I think you've saturated the market already. Yeah, I do. But too. Microsoft but, doesn't know either any more than we do. But a perception matters big time and they came out really poorly against the PS4 three and a half years ago for exactly. however long it was. They can't do that again. It, it no matter how few people may use this thing, it does they have to have it. And Leo, exactly. I think you're right. That exactly. They're already going to have all these headsets in the market. This thing will be compatible with those. They can do VR right away, and they can add MR functionality to the existing hardware in the next year. That mm. that makes so much sense. It does. Yeah. I am. Plus, I you, have, you know what the I other a, the I other piece we didn't mention. We didn't mention yes. another piece. Uh, Redstone Three is probably a, a requirement in some way for this, right? Mm -hmm. Redstone mm -hmm. 3, we think, isn't going to be out till October, November. So then there's yep. going to be the Xbox version or the Scor and or Scorpio version of Redstone 3. So when they say there won't be any content till 2018, that makes sense because the operating system that you may be dependent on may not be yeah. out until yeah. the very end it's, of this year. All, I, it, this bolsters this argument mm -hmm. nicely that, that it, it all, does. everything, God, we make so much sense. Well, actually, mostly <laughs> two guys, but... No, that, yeah. Maybe I think too that's much it. sense. <laughs> well, you know, you could, by the way, you should, it might be worth even doing this. If you go and look at today's blog post from Microsoft yeah. about this mixed reality thing, which, by the way, there's been a big uh, debate over whether Microsoft has just renamed Windows holographic because now they're talking about it as Windows mixed Windows reality, reality, you know, which yeah. I don't think they're actually renaming it. But the entire statement about the Scorpio is literally two sentences. Yeah. Well, actually, it's really. It's only one sentence, actually. It says, our plan is to bring mixed reality content, like you said, mm -hmm. to the Xbox One family of devices, including Project Scorpio in 2018. That says two things. One, it's not just Scorpio. It's coming to Xbox One, right? If you have an Xbox right. One S, you'll be getting mixed reality content. But it is content, right? And I think that's hinging on what Leo said earlier, that um, the, the, the hardware will be there in 2017. Yep. It almost certainly is this partner stuff, right? reduce the cost of the console. And now we're going to, I almost said augment it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and we're going to expand it, expand its capabilities next year uh, with yeah. that make, And this all makes perfect sense from, mm -hmm. you know, a go-to-market strategy. Uh, you know, this, because they don't have, then you don't have to sell, you know, you don't want upset customers saying, I mean, I have to buy a new one a year right. later. Yeah. No, this is, this is, it makes too much sense not to be true <laughs> because <laughs> we do deal with Microsoft, so anything's possible. But I, I but yeah, I know. I think that's I think that's it.